Hi guys, this is me again. Uh, this is the second video in my statistics series. Today we continue with our topic of um, probability. Probability is a broad area in the field of statistics, but I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to break the lectures into part by part and I will guarantee you by the time you watch all my lectures you're gonna be very proficient in the concept of probability now let's start so we begin by um, covering some basic concepts this concept, you, if, you, if you don't understand their meaning, you will be very it will be very um, hard for you to understand the principle of probability. So those concepts uh, include what we call probability experiment, outcome, sample space, and event. So let us discuss them one by one. The first one is, is what we called the probability experiment. A probability experiment simply means any chance process that leads to a result that we call outcomes. Good example um, of a probability experiment includes flipping a coin, buying a lottery ticket, rolling a dice. And so on. So next concept is the outcome. Outcome, as you can see from here, simply means the result of a single trial of a probability experiment. For example, when you buy a lottery ticket, the outcome can be either you win. Or you lose and when you flip a coin the outcome can be head showing up or a tail showing up okay the next is the sample space sample space all the possible outcome all the possible outcome of a probability experiment we call sample space I'm going to give you more, more examples on this in the next uh, slide. But let's look at event. Event since means any set of outcomes. Uh, usually, examples will help you to understand this concept. So we're going to move to the next slide so I can, that I can show you the examples of these concepts. Okay. Suppose the experiment is this, roll a die, see, the outcome is a tree showing up. Now all the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is for all the possible outcomes for a dice because a dice has 6 sides. Now remember the event is a set of outcomes, look at this. The event, even number is two, four, six, because there are three even numbers in a dice. At this point, I'm going to show you more examples of what we mean by probability experiment and sample space. Look at this chart here. On one side are the probability experiments. And 
On the right side is are the sample spaces, which are all the possible outcomes. For example, the experiment flip a coin, the outcome can be head showing or tail showing. Roll a dice, the sample space can be or is for a dice because the dice has six sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are numbers that are on a dice. When I say dice, it is, um, some people might not know what it means. Look at the dice right here. On the left side, you can see a dice right here. That's the dice right here. And this is the coin that I'm talking about, okay? Now, the experiment of uh, selecting a day of the week, the, all the possible outcomes are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And this forms the sample space for selecting a day of the week. Okay? Now, at this point, we are ready to solve one question involving sample space. The question says, find the sample space for drawing one card from an ordinary deck of cards, okay? Before we can answer that, we need to know what an ordinary deck of cards looks like, okay? Here is an ordinary deck, a deck of cards. You can see the numbers there and the cards. These are the suits. They have four suits. Club, diamond, heart, and spade. Then each suit has how many cards? Look at this. Uh, let's say club. How many cards in club? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So each of the suits have how many cards? Thirteen cards. The clubs have thirteen cards. The diamond has 13 cards. The heart has 13 cards. The spade has 13 cards. With this information, we are ready to answer the question. Again, the question says to find the sample space, right? Find the sample space for drawing one deck from an ordinary deck. We put them in a table right here, suit. So, I've already explained to you that all the cards have, all the suits have 13 cards in them. So for hearts, you put 13 here, for club, you put 13, and so on. Now, to get the sample space, you add all of them. Now, let us do it on a calculator. Now, we are ready to add them. Um, like I said in my previous lectures, people usually understand it, uh, or I will say it this way. Let me put it on this way. Students understand maths better when they watch you do it. So that's why I'm going to show you how we got the sample space. Now you can see that heart has 13 cards, club 13, diamond 13, Speed 13. So, sample space will add all of them. Look at the calculator. We have that, um, okay, 13 for heart plus 13 for club plus um, 13 for diamond plus 13 for speed. And they give us 52. See, that gives us 52. So we have sample space as 52 cards. Okay. Now you can see this from the screen here. And our answer is sample space, 52 cards. So the last concept left now are events. Simple event. A simple event consists of a single 
or one outcome. A good example, um, see when you roll a dice, a six might show, and so that means the event is six. A three might show also, a one might show. So, but the bottom line is that it is only one outcome. That's why we call it a simple event. But for compound event, we, we have more than one outcome. A good example, when you roll a dice and an even number shows up, what are all the even numbers in the dice? We have three even numbers. So the outcome is more than one. And because of that, we call it a compound event. Now, this um, concludes this lecture. In my next lecture, we're going to discuss more concepts, more basic concepts. Concepts like um, the um, three diagrams, the types of probability, and so on and so forth. So, but before going to three diagram, I will first of all discuss the types of probability. That will be in my next lecture in this series. Uh, once again, thank you for listening to my lectures and um, I will see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.